back to my channel. I'm Sharon and this is Classy Shades Designs. Today I want to show you how I took a drab wind chime and turned it into a beautiful, elegant new look. Let's go get busy. A couple years ago I was given this wind chime as a gift and I had it hanging in my garage because I had no place to put it so it's been weathered fairly well but I decided that I wanted to update the wind chime and bring it inside so what we're going to do is just go ahead and take off all of the strings that's on it because the wind chime really is in good shape it just needs a little bit of love now that I have everything taken apart, I'm going to leave these strings on it because the integrity and strength of it is well and I don't want to jeopardize that, but I will take it outside and paint it black. After painting it black, I bought all the pieces back inside and now in the true classy shade design style, it's time to decorate it with some bling. So I'm going to use these jewels that I picked up at Joanne Fabrics. And I'm also going to use a thin row of the bling wrap here that I actually produce and we'll leave a link below. If you'd like to purchase it, you can pick it up. But we're just gonna cut a small piece off of here. This is a four row bling wrap and we only need one small piece. Using my second favorite cap crafting tool, which is the glue gun and the first being your imagination, I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue the single strand of diamond wrap onto the top of the wind chime. Once that's complete I'm going to just put some little daubs of glue on and start putting on our jewels and I'm going to put a jewel probably every four or five crystals around until we have it completely circling. Now let's go ahead and add a little small piece of diamond wrap around the top of this just to give it that little extra bling. We'll add some jewels to our pendulum bling on both the top and the bottom. And then we'll go ahead and start preparing to string it up. So what I'm going to do instead of using the ribbon, I'm going to take some of this fish wire and I'm going to double it up and use that, which will be just as strong as the black ribbon that we cut off. But it'll be see-through, so it won't take away from the bling that we're adding. After making sure that I had a really secure knot in the fish wire and the top of the chime, I'm going to now just take the chime poles and start restringing them using the fish wire in replace of the black ribbon string that was on it. So once I had the chimes all hung, I went ahead and put some jewels on the paddle and restrung it with some fish wire. Next I tied a knot in the center of the fish wire line so that I could have a base for the pendulum gong to stop at. I took a, two pieces of the um, jewels that we had and hot glued them to that together so that they would cover the knot. Once I knew that that was dry and secure, I went ahead and put the pendulum gong on the string. So the last thing I did was tied a piece of the old string to the uh, fish wire so that it would help have some support on it and I put it all together onto the wind chime. Using hot glue I gave it some extra support and this is how it turned out. I think it looks so pretty. That old drab wind chime that was all faded has turned into a beautiful, elegant new look. I think it's pretty classy. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, stay classy.